All right, 24.3 was leaked and then released. We're gonna talk about it either way. Let's break it down. 24.3 is five rounds of 10 thrusters at 95 pounds for men, 65 for women, 10 chest to bar pull-ups. Once you complete five rounds, you're gonna rest one minute, then you're gonna do five more rounds of seven thrusters at 135 for men, 95 for women, and seven bar muscle-ups. Let's break it down. Keys to this workout, strategic breaks. Unless you are super, super elite or very, very strategic in how you break things up here, most people are not gonna do this workout unbroken. You need to break this up to manage your muscular fatigue, which is gonna set in, especially if you know you're one of those athletes that's gonna make it into the second part and you know that you can finish that second part, we really need to be aware of that muscular fatigue. So thing one, keys to a good workout here is strategic breaks. I would recommend for most, you're gonna break up your thrusters, you're gonna break up your chest to bar pull-ups consistently from start to finish. Even though you can hang on in those early rounds, don't fall for that trap. Don't be so concerned with that time, uh, the, the tie break time, and just simply execute your plan consistently and you're gonna have the best time that you can. So strategic breaks in your thrusters and in those chest to bar pull-ups for most people, and that way we can avoid the biggest pitfall in this one to me, which is hanging on too long too early and then you're gonna gas out on those gymnastics movements. Um, most people are going to be able to hang on to the thrusters a little bit better than they will be able to hang on to those gymnastics movements. Um, so make sure we don't gas out, don't hang on too early, too long, especially in that first part. Then break it down as far as strategy goes on this workout. So for most of you, break up your thrusters, two sets. Break up your chest bars, two sets. Then, if you can strategically execute that, once we get into the next portion, you're going to be in a similar boat. Break up those thrusters, and then I'm gonna break up the, uh, the bar muscle ups as much as I need to. If, I'm a, if I can do multiple sets, and that makes sense, go ahead and do it. But otherwise, we still wanna play that game of consistency. And then coming back to the chest of bars, if you're in that category of, oh, I can only do one chest of bar at a time, then consistently do one chest of bar at a time. Don't try and hang on in the early rounds. Or if you can do fives or threes or whatever it is, go with your forever number and then do two sets of thrusters and then your forever number on those chest of bars. And then ideally, if we execute this perfectly, our rest between reps in round one is gonna be the exact same in rounds four and five. Um, and we'll be able to finish this one and get onto that next portion and then hopefully have a shot at getting through the thrusters and then getting a bar muscle up. Um, if you know you can do the skills and you know that you can do bar muscle ups and you can do the thrusters at the weights that they have prescribed, um, you just need to strategically break it out. I would say, okay, so thing one, you need to get to those bar muscle ups and thrusters with enough time to finish it. So if you're in that category, you need to hang on to your thrusters in the first portion and you need to break up those chest to bar into two sets. If you're somebody that can do them in tens, I would recommend you do them in two sets of five in the chest of bars just so that you have enough gas left in the tank to be able to have a shot at finishing those thrusters and bar muscle ups in that last five round portion. Um, but that's where I would say you should go next if you're in that category of I can do it, if I just strategically have enough time, hang on to the thrusters, break up the chest of bars, two sets consistently. Then, um, for those of you who know you can do this, you know that you can finish it, but it's gonna be about getting the best finish time that you can. Um, thing one, part one, the five round, 10 thruster, 10 chest of bar, this is a controlled version of Fran. Um, you're going to do it unbroken, you're just going to do it in a controlled manner. Um, so, paste, on your thruster, don't go out too hot uh, on, the, on the per rep, and then breathing is, is priority. Then when you move on to the second portion, your bar muscle ups and heavy thrusters, key on that one, I would recommend, unless you're really, really, really good at those bar muscle ups, um, consistently break those bar muscle ups from the get go and don't gas yourself out. It's gonna be tempting to hang on to all seven and hope that you can make it to the end, um, but I would recommend start with like a four or three and then consistently do that. And then if you have anything at all left, um, jump up and hang on for that last set or in round four, if you've still got something, hang on to that set and then push on and hang on to the last set if you wanna make up some time there. But I would recommend the thruster, hang on to it, and then you're gonna break up those bar muscle ups into a four or three and then consistently do that. And then hopefully that will put you in the realm of being able to finish that in that nine to 12 minute. 12 minute range. Good luck.